my name is Chrissy Innan, and today I want to give you a brief review of the movie The Fits. This is the debut film for director Anna Rolls Homer. The Fits stars a newcomer, a new actress on the scene, Royalty Hightower, as Tony. Tony is a young girl who spends much of her time at the boxing gym with her older brother. And in that same facility where they practice boxing, there is a troupe of dancers that practice. And Tony's intrigued by these older girls and these dancers. And so with her brother's encouragement, she decides to try out for the team. And through that experience, she gets to see the older girls experience this mysterious illness called the fits. This movie is seen from Tony's point of view, and while it could technically be termed a coming-of-age film, the director takes it in a much different direction than many coming-of-age fil films that we might see. Rather than specifically addressing the many changes happening in adolescence that result in various feelings like wonder and fear, excitement and anxiety, Homer uses the story and the filming and the music to show some sense of fear and dread at the changes occurring in adolescence through Tony's eyes. Throughout the film, we often see Tony overhearing or eavesdropping on conversations that offer her a glimpse into what becoming a young woman looks like. And in addition, we see her kind of trying on that idea of womanhood as she pierces her own ears and allows people to paint her fingernails. But we also see her trying to back off from that as she takes the earrings out when the ears get infected and she scrapes the fingernail polish off. We also see Tony as she notices the differences between the boys and the girls. The boys are bulking up for boxing, but the girls note how skinny Tony is. She also sees the low-key bullying that is often too present within young women as they move through adolescence. Overall, the theme of this movie is, as Filmspotting.net says, a stunningly shot tale of a young girl coming to terms with the frightening reality of impending adolescence. Homer brings this point home through the seemingly out-of-body experiences of the girls who have the fits and the different ways each girl experiences those fits. In using the fits as a metaphor for the changes taking place in adolescence, Homer is able to help viewers remember their own journey, as well as see how others may have had experiences in their journeys that differ from our own. One of the most powerful scenes in the movie is one in which Tony begins to embrace the transformation happening. As she begins doing her typical boxing workout of running stairs and basic punches, you see her owning her past and how that's brought her to where she is. She then begins to transition to practicing her dance choreography, and she practices that with the fierceness that she approached boxing, and therefore she begins moving into the future and beginning to feel more comfortable in her skin. And you see that with a, just a shade of a smile on her face. Also present in the fits is the idea that moving into womanhood means movement into the power of community with those who share commonality, but without all having to be the same or having the same experience. I don't want to spoil the ending, so I won't go into detail, but this is expressed very powerfully in the closing sequence. While this movie is different than most other coming-of-age films, in the ambiguous way that it approaches adolescence through this metaphor of the fits, it is no less powerful in creating a connection with the viewer in relation to their own journey through adolescence and even through life. The technical aspects of this movie from the framing of the shots to the minimal but important dialogue to the haunting music 
all work toward creating a sense of the ominous nature of crossing over into womanhood. 